Today I am going to talk about the function of different WBCs that are present within our body. We know that there are many different kinds of white blood cells that exist within the body of any particular organism. But all these WBCs, they have specific duty, they have specific role. And this part of the lecture would focus on all those functions and all the specific roles that are assigned to the WBCs. So you can see the first picture here. It's the picture of a standard police officer or a standard cop. I have tried to compare it with the first type, which is the neutrophil. Here you can see that it has a simple structure. Now why I compare neutrophils with this standard police officer? Because we know that whenever there is this crime, whenever crime is reported usually the first responder at the spot of crime are these police officers so they go there they cordon off the area and then they try to find the reason behind the crime and they investigate it further quite similarly neutrophils are the rapid responders or the first responders whenever there is this pathogenic attack so they respond there quickly why so because they are the most abundant cells or the WBCs present within our body and we know that these cops they don't really have a special training if we compare them with special forces or some riot police they're not that trained so that's why if they are encountering any hardcore criminal they will ultimately meet the fate of a rapid death so they will ultimately die quite similarly neutrophils don't really have this unique ability of renewing their lysosomes we know that like macrophage neutrophils belong to the category of phagocytes and phagocytosis is possible due to this organelle known as lysosome we know that phagocytes take in any pathogen engulf any particular pathogen and then they lyse them with the help of the digestive enzymes that are present in lysosomes but after a specific number of engulfing after the specific number of phagocytosis they usually die because they don't really have the ability to renew their lysosome again and again on the other hand macrophage when i will talk about macrophage we will come to this point that they do have this ability of renewing their lysosome so neutrophils die earlier neutrophils rapidly die after performing their function then comes the next thing we know that there is this right police which is clearly better than the standard cop because he is wearing certain different kinds of protective gears the helmet the bulletproof vest and all these guards but due to all these heavy equipments the movement of this particular policeman would be slow so it can be compared with macrophage macrophage are slow responders just like these riot police macrophages are slow responders but obviously they are better prepared why because i have already told you that macrophages have this unique ability of renewing their lysosome for quite some time so that's why they survive longer just like the way riot police can fight or survive for longer when they are encountering any particular criminal hardcore criminal similarly macrophages can survive longer because they can renew lysosome again and again so moving on towards the next thing but before moving to the next cells we also have this another way of memorizing the function of neutrophils and macrophages so neu new it sounds like new so neutrophils are like new naive cop while macrophages ma macrophages are like mature cop so by using this pattern you can also memorize the function or relate them to particular persons easily then comes the next thing basophils b for basophils b for burning it has something to do with burning because basophils are compared with this fireman why so because we know that basophils are directly connected with the inflammation they are responsible for inflammatory response as well as allergic responses so basophils are directly linked with these two things allergy as well as inflammation 
inflammation is good for us because by this inflammation pathogens are contained within a particular area of our body so that they won't spread because if they are contained within a specific location our white blood cell can easily deal with them now this basophils have the ability to release two kinds of chemicals for this purpose which are heparin and histamine so inflammation is possible due to certain different chemicals and by inflammation body contains pathogens within a specific location so inflammation is good for us that's why in any particular inflamed area or region we have this burning sensation so b for basophil b for burning you can memorize it that way or simply you can compare basophil with this fireman because they also deal with flames while this basophil deals with inflamed region so that was all about the basophils and their release products then we can come to the next thing we know that this person is a fumigator and i am trying to compare fumigator with eosinophil why because just like the way this fumigator releases chemicals to remove or erase pests or parasites from any particular house quite similarly eosinophils also have the ability to release certain different chemicals to kill pathogens to counter pathogens and one easy way to memorize the function of eosinophil is that e for eosinophils e for erase it is there to erase parasites like helminths there is this class of parasite by the name of helminths and this eosinophil erases that particular helminth or parasite by releasing certain different chemicals so here we used b for basophil b for burning but now we are using e for erase and one particular reason why i separated these two groups and there is this gap because on the right side of screen you can see eosinophil and basophils they are both linked to the allergic reactions they both relate or link to allergic responses while if we talk about the cells that are present on the left side of screen both these cells are phagocytes they engulf a pathogen or any infected cell if the cell has been infected with pathogen and it is beyond saving this cell will engulf it because the cell is beyond saving now comes the next thing which is a signalman as the name suggests signal the duty of signalman is to give signal and uh, this signalman can be compared with dendritic cells in our body these dendritic cells are involved in connecting two kind of systems two kind of immune responses first one is known as innate immune system and second one is known as adaptive immune system i already talked about those particular immunity types in my other video so there is this innate immune system and then there is this adaptive immune system and these dendritic cells are responsible for connecting these two if innate system is unable to deal with any particular pathogen then adaptive immune system kicks in but to initiate the adaptive immune system response dendritic cells are responsible for taking message from the innate immune system and then giving it to the adaptive immune system so they are the connectors or we can also call them the bridge between the innate immune system and the adaptive immune system just like a signalman whose job is to give signal for any particular activity similarly these dendritic cells take the message from innate immune system and give it to the adaptive immune system so that now adaptive immune system comes into action here you can see they have this job of identifying the pathogen and then sending signal to special forces what kind of special forces some kind of elite force so elite force can be compared with the t and b lymphocytes or the lymphocytes and we know that lymphocytes there are many different types of lymphocytes t lymphocytes b lymphocytes and then there are also nkc which are natural killer cells right and after recognizing the pathogen they will finally deal with them they will kill them now why dendritic cells form a bridge between innate immune system and adaptive immune system because dendritic cells like macrophages they are apc they belong to the category of apc which stands for antigen presenting cells they have the ability to engulf the pathogen then they break that particular pathogen into pieces and one such piece is loaded on their special receptor 
and then by using that particular receptor they present the fragment of pathogen to these cells the t lymphocytes b lymphocytes and so on so as they are apc as the dendritic cells are antigen presenting cells so they help to carry the message of innate immune system to adaptive immune system so with that mechanism they engage cells of adaptive immune system the t lymphocytes and b lymphocytes we know that b lymphocytes can be converted to the plasma cells and once they are converted to plasma cells they start releasing antibodies and by using those antibodies they counter these pathogens and t cells t cell has the role to mediate or activate the b cell so that it can be activated and then it will be converted to plasma cell and so on and similarly cytotoxic t cells also have the ability to counter or deal with the pathogens directly so that was all about the different functions of white blood cell that are present within our body and lastly we can talk about one more thing that you can see the highlighted portions there this one the cop and then we have this right police and then eosinophil or basophil so all these yellow highlighted cells or yellow highlighted structures like neutrophils macrophage eosinophils and basophils they form the innate immune system they are the members of innate immune system if we talk about the adaptive immune system you can see the blue highlighted portion here the lymphocytes are actually part of the adaptive immune system so t lymphocytes and b lymphocytes they usually form the adaptive immune system within our body and the linkers or the connectors are actually dendritic cells between these two systems dendritic cells are there to connect them and they act as a bridge they act as a link or connector between the two immune system if the innate immune system is unable to fight with any deadly pathogen then dendritic cell will take the message to adaptive immune system and then the cells of adaptive immune system comes into action by producing different kind of things like antibodies so i hope by this scenario or by this analogy you have learned something new today thank you for listening and thank you for your patience